The idea of the storyboard is to visually communicate the story: what's going on, where are we going, what should we be looking at, and what is the lighting, the feel of the location we're in, and what are the people doing, or whoever the actors may be. In these images, quick studies from Hans Bakker, a world-renowned storyboard artist, we can clearly see in each one what we're supposed to look at. Where the figure or the eye is going, where the camera is going to go, and the lighting. Storyboards are not about detail. They're not about color. They're not about precision drawing. They're about the expression and blueprinting, if you will, of the idea. I'll zoom in down here to the lower right. In this image, clearly, we can see that there is a lady in a skirt. Standing at the seashore, as evidenced by the horizon, with seagulls all around, and she's on some kind of rock. She's staring out to sea from left to right. This sets up our eye to look to the right to expect something coming into her, and also to anticipate the camera panning to the right. The storyboard is not about detail; it's not about color. It's not really about resolved figures at all. It's about setting the visual design, the mise en scène, of the frame, telling us what's in frame, what's off frame or out of frame, where are our things going, or where should we be looking, and the lighting in the scene. As an example, in this middle right image, and these are images by Hans Bakker, a world-renowned storyboard artist, I'm using. We have a figure in silhouette. Drawn in all black, we can see the lighting clearly coming in across the column, and it's white outside, saying it's brighter outside than where we are, and walking down, presumably towards stairs here. We can't really see an eye line or a direction of the head, leading us to think, okay, they're facing away from us. Good. One more image: the figure is clearly running from left. To right, and looking just by the way that oblong head is drawn, looking up into the trees. This is Hans Bakker, the man who drew those boards, signing here a copy of his really excellent book. I think Dream Worlds, highly recommended. He's worked on storyboards for Milan, Balto, numerous other films. If we look at his work on Balto as another example, we've got. Clearly, things we need to look at in each frame, and the composition and the lighting are well stunning. When I teach, I use these in class as an example. In each of these, we can sense the destruction in the city, from the broken forms, from the jagged lighting, from the idea here of a maybe a haze or fires or something off in the distance. The detail is barely resolved on this brick wall, and that's a quick sketch. Again, this is not about detail; it is about the composition in the frame, the visual blueprint of that narrative, to communicate to everybody down the line in the production process what we should be looking at, what we should be lighting to, and where we are going with the camera. And furthermore, for the actors, what do we want to see in the frame when we're acting?